the top of the Don't Tread on Me or the Gas and Flag, the title, Daring to Tread. And he's making the statement, Alice, what you and I have warned about. You brought it out first on the Mayak report. The sheriff and at least one of his deputies have verbalized opinions that constitutionalists are threats to the sheriff's office, the federal government, and to the country itself. He went so far as to compare constitutionalists with a Sunni Muslim terror group, ISIS. Now, again, I talked years and years ago. You probably heard me say this. Identify, vilify, nullify, destroy. Okay, we're in the identification. We're in the vilification. That's right. They've been the secretly gearing up to come after us. Now they're getting ready to roll out, which is, I mean, you talk about giving the sheriff's deputies a mission that's not going to end too well. This is crazy. Yeah, and, and, you know, they can't even quote where you live or whoever they're complaining about. You know, the point being is, is that this is the attitude. So here's what I want to make people understand. The American people still believe in the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. Those of us who still believe in the living God know there's right and wrong. But in the age of what I call relativistic takedown of the country, Alex, when we hear the head of Planned Parenthood saying they want 50 livers to experiment on such, and you know I write about ancient history, the practices even of burning babies in the arms of Molech or sacrificing babies to, uh, for the uh, Phoenicians to, on their anchor ropes, that's what they did. The point is, is that we stood by as a nation knowing this stuff was going on, and now where are we at? We're at a point where we didn't care about human life, and now everyone who didn't care, they're in the, the sights. You know, how many of those people that were aborted could have changed everything? So here's what I think, and I'll be as blunt as I know how and as prescient as I can be. We are headed for a manufactured World War III. In order for the New World Order to bring on their Messiah, we call him the Antichrist, meaning in place of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I came, you received me not, another will come claiming to be me. Well, this is what the globalists, the Satanists, and, and you know, it took, it, it's now coming into your full focus to realize the supernatural evil. That's I right, stay there. Got to go to break. Steve Quell. Here's what happens with social engineering. By successive approximation or incrementalism, we get conditioned to put up with more and more. Fluoride in the water, forced inoculations, GMO that sterilizes and kills many of the rodents they feed it to, that farmers won't give their farm animals because they die when they eat it. The honeybees are dying. 90 plus percent of the nuclear reactors worldwide are leaking. It's not even news anymore. They're supposed to be shut down after 30 years. Most of them are almost 40 years old. They just don't care. They're geoengineering. They're telling us that you can't say father and mother. Public schools are banning it all over the country. New buildings put in communal bathrooms where you now walk into one and there's a woman in there. And you're like, oh, and they go, oh, it's a, it's okay. It's a, I mean, we're just being messed with. We're being social engineered. They give stinger missiles to Al Qaeda. And now the French news says they're bracing for terror attacks there. Meanwhile, they're in the news saying the Pentagon's preparing for war with the Tea Party. Now, we broke this, you know, the details, the proof many years ago. Quell from sources talked about it before that. Mark Cornkey and so many others. But people say, when's it all coming? The New World Order's here. It's here. When they blame gun owners for a mass shooting or they blame the rebel flag for a mass shooting... It's here. When they're openly selling babies and keeping babies alive and dissecting them, and then it's like, oh, big deal. Our conscience has been seared. We've been conditioned. I myself ha have just gotten conditioned to where I hear, oh, the major corporations making their employees take chips in their necks to get into work in Europe. Oh, big deal. I didn't even cover it on air a month ago when it was in the news because I knew it was coming 20 years ago. Now it's here. I'm like, okay. You see, so it's just the continued conditioning and then to now have this sheriff who's a microcosm in Spokane, we have this all over the country, getting giant armored vehicles and the news with a straight face goes, because how do they segue from there's no armored vehicles, we're not targeting constitutionalists to, yeah, they really are dangerous and bad. They warned this was coming. It's here now. The deputy says it's for us. They say it all over the country. We say it's bad, so they go, look, see, they are bad. We need the armored vehicle because they said that we were getting the armored vehicle for them, but we did get it for them because they're bad. Because they're bad because they're right. And then he lies about us and says InfoWars is death-threatening.
and they're doing this all over the country. I played the clips yesterday. I'm not going to play them again. Where they sit there saying, we have these for the veterans. We have these for the gun owners. We have these for the conservatives. This is like Hitler saying, we have these for the communists. We have these for the Jews. We as a political movement, Americana, I'm a liberal in the sense of Thomas Jefferson. I believe in live and let live. I'm not getting in your business if you don't get in mine. The problem is we didn't get in their business. They took over and now they're getting in our business. And so I'm begging you to realize that we need alarmists like Steve Quayle. We need to be concerned. You know, Matt Drudge a year ago said Americans really should have an exit strategy to get out of the country on a Twitter. People made fun of that. The elite are leaving. It's in the London Guardian, the Associated Press. I don't know what exactly is coming. I know that they were in the newspapers last week again and on TV saying, I'm behind the Boston bombing. My lawyer says I could win a lawsuit, but I don't have time to spend all my energy on that. I have to just take the hits, move forward as a vanguard. But it, everything is escalating. I don't know if it's going to trigger next month, next year. I don't know. But things are exponential. And the Democratic Party with the Republican leadership has made the decision to be willfully totalitarian and evil. You get around Democratic Party operatives, not your average Democrat who's a nice person. And Republicans are nice people, too. Their, their leadership's just as bad. But the Democrats, are, they're their vanguard. And when you get around these people, I want Steve Quell's take on this. They are consciously evil. They know they're taking over. They're just a criminal group like ISIS. That's why they work with ISIS. They are getting ready for something big. It's why suddenly communist rallies that have been deactivated to tell us that didn't exist for 20 years are suddenly, I've been in New York, I've been in Europe, I've been in Austin, Texas, and other places, and people I know have been seeing it too, and you'll just be at a cafe and communists march by with 100 red flags. And suddenly devil worshipers are showing up everywhere at Planned Parenthoods worshiping killing babies. I mean, you've seen it with us show up, and these people literally crawl out from under rocks and just start saying, I'm ugly, I'm fat, Satan, kill babies. Ah! Uh, and, and, just, and, and, and in the state house, they're just women dressed in normal dresses just spontaneously. News talked to them. They didn't know each other. They were just drawn like zombies, like spirits to just go, hail Satan, Satan, ah! and drowned out prayer meetings. Women just came out of their offices and like zombies went downtown, didn't know why they were there, just Satan, Satan, Satan. And, 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 and I'm realizing when I sit back and I look at this, I go, what is this? It's, it's like a movie. It's like we got possessed or something. And then those of us that see it and don't like it, they go, oh, you're a terrorist. You're going to kill people. We've got to arrest you. And then we get official Re-education camp manual, Steve Quell of stevequell.com. I apologize for ranting for five minutes. Go ahead to the break, six minutes away. What do you say to that? Who are the players? What is the end game? You were saying it's well, spiritual. Right, it's spiritual because, you know, I've written about Stargates. And by the way, uh, I just want to tell people this. It's important to what we're talking about, Alex. We've uploaded uh, for subscription. You can download it, pay to download it, the uh, DVD True Legends, and why this is critical, okay, is it's really critical for people to understand that, and one of the revelations in that, and it's shown amazing 90 minutes, we actually believe now that through some pretty amazing genius-level mathematicians and Tim Alberino being down with the film crew and, you know, the South American stuff, we actually believe we have found the fallen angels linguistics, and I'll let people go on it and see it, but what, what's going to be important? Let me tell you why this is important. Because the spiritual nature of the battle, when the Satanists come out, you know, it, it, during World War II, you and I did a show, uh, I don't know, 10 years ago about this when I wrote a book called Breathe No Evil. But Dr. Ishii, I-S-H-I, and Unit 731 were tried for war crimes for the live vivisections on human beings. By the way, that's why the Chinese, one of the main reasons the Chinese hate the Japanese so much, uh, the atrocities under Japan were just horrible. Terrific. So China has a, a historic, I would say, precedent for payback. But saying all that, that is a war crime, yet we do not criminalize the death. Now, when, they're hearing, when I'm hearing that they have live babies, that they're giving over to uh, the experimenters, and when I hear that uh, the American citizens are eating 
all of the, if you will, baby parts in all the lists of uh, uh, the food companies and everything, you can understand something. They want us changed at a genetic level. They want us so isolated and so non-human that all of the normal uh, God-given qualities of compassion, of love, of understanding, of forgiveness, they don't want that, okay? They want a totalitarian hellhole. Back to the United States, what was the name of the survey that you and I broke on air? I sent you an email. We talked about it. Remember the one that showed the population of America taken down to 80, 90 million? Absolutely. That was put out by the government. And, and expanding on this, whether we believe in all this or not, the elites believe in the angels, the stargates, the occult. They believe they're getting their power from it. And regardless, with the chimeras, with the cross-species creations, with baby brains put in rats, uh, with octopuses crossed with humans, all this is being done in labs admitted now. These are new creatures. They're creating aliens right here on this planet. Yes, they are. And the, see, the reason for that is God created mankind in his image and likeness. People can argue about it, but all the creative genius, the, all the, the magnificent things, and there have been magnificent things that men in their uh, honor of God, look at this. They kicked God out, no prayer in school. Now they kick God out of everything, the universities, which most even Christians send their kids to. They now they say, don't say out. mother or father. Now they say purple penguin. Right. Well, well, our children are trying to be taught to choose sexuality at four years old. Vladimir Putin and his young wolves are, you know, stripping AK-47s blindfolded. ISIS is teaching, and I'm not in favor That's of That's right. That's right. That's right. They're teaching seven-year-olds how to strip AK-47s blindfolded and march in the snow. Our four-year-olds are learning how to give a blowjob. Absolutely, and and I'm sorry it has to be stated that way, but here's the deal. Yeah, I apologize I, too, but that's what they're teaching five-year-olds. Yep, they are, and see, here's the thing. Human sexuality, and boy, we could do a show on that, and I promise you a different take, and it wouldn't be X-rated, but the problem with human sexuality has been taken over by the, the uh, I would say this, the uh, fallen angel perverts. And, and, you know, I document all this stuff. By the way, one of the most astonishing revelations in the, from coming from 1545 was the fact that God himself sent an angel to sway, you know, the, the, the and I'm going to say this, the homosexual giants and the 1545 to 1600 chroniclers absolutely, uh, you know, said this was a given fact. Even the Native Americans who were non-Christians at that time, obviously I'm talking about Peru, Bolivia, they, they, they chronicled this in all of their myths and legends. So here's the deal. We are now seeing a spirit of supernatural perversion. What is it? If anybody, and I don't want to go into detail, but anybody who understands Satanism, they have to desecrate, denigrate. They have to offer blood sacrifices. They have to uh, ritualize sodomy. They, they've got to do all that because ultimately it's destroying the image and likeness of God. So when the Christians and, the, and what I call the jellyfishes in the pulpit, those would be the pastors that have as much spine as a jellyfish that they float, you know, in the ocean and they sting everybody with their poison. Sorry, that's how I see it. And excuse I hear me, you. Listen, sorry. it's really far out, but when you read the Old Testament, it describes these giants coming out of flying saucers, raping everybody. And then and then now it, you see the elite trying to cross species everybody. Whether people think it's real or not, it's manifesting now. Why do we have legends about this? Maybe this isn't a good idea to be teaching kids their purple penguins. Steve Quill's on about geopolitical issues. He's super on target with those. He gets into a lot of wild stuff, investigates archaeological sites. It's really interesting. True Legends, the documentary film series available on DVD or for download, and it's really professional. Uh, and I've seen it. It's pretty amazing. Uh, available at stevequell.com. That's another show uh, entirely. I know this. The whole Promethean legend, the movie Prometheus, Time Magazine even reports that most genetic engineers and others believe that we were seeded from space now. <laughs> They've abandoned uh, the theory of evolution as it's promoted I don't go where I can't prove stuff. I have army manuals admitting they're training to put us in FEMA camps that are at army.mil. And I can have Nightline here and hand them the document and they just won't look at it. The public listening can't believe that. So, But I know I've studied uh, Aztec, uh, Mayan, Mesoamerican culture. They believe that gods came from the heavens and seated us here. The elites believe it, the Egyptians, others 
And I know that it's skull and bones and 